Okay, here we are back in a Kerbal Space Program. So, uh, what what's happening here? Uh, we've got let's go to the tracking station. Uh, we've got here's our mum mapper, supposed to be moon mapper, but I just fat fingered the, the wrong letter on there. They are on their way to the moon. They're going to go and and chart the thing. They're going to try to locate where uh, wherever the second device is that our our monolith next to Kerbal Space Center is is, is apparently it's radioing. Or it's communicating. It's doing muon radio. It's, it's talking something with something up there. So they're going to go find that. But I'm in no real hurry to to get that. It's going to take a little while to map out the surface of the moon. While that's going on, you know what my kerbals need to be about, is we need to, the next step here, let's just take a look ahead a little bit. Um, I need, here, I'll just do that because I use this configuration for just about everything. I need to build a little moon buggy. I need a rover uh, in order to, the next step here, once I once I have a general idea of the general vicinity of, of uh, wherever this monolith might be on the surface of the moon is I'm going to have to send a rover there with a moon de with the close range moon detector moon detector sometimes I can't talk <laughs> here we'll put that on the opposite side there we go yeah see this the, the huge dish that thing yeah it's it's what it's got a range like a 150 kilometers this one's got a range of 15 kilometers so I need a a mobile rover to get, you know what let's put a map and dish on this thing too It'll map as well uh, to go and get a better idea of, of more exactly where, yeah, where, more exactly where it is. Uh, and then once we have, and then we'll see what happens there. We'll, we'll, we'll go from there once we get a better idea of where that, that monolith is. Um, I want a decent amount of fuel on this thing because I expect it... Yeah, I, ex I expect it to be having me traveling around a lot. We might have to take off and land several times on the surface of the moon. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little engine here. Yeah, that one. I was at work, I'm just thinking about this. I kind of got a, a general design worked out in my head of just generally what I want it to look like. I know I want to have four wheels in the thing, because that'll, that'll be... That's like the minimum for it to be just stable enough for as it goes over various kinds of terrain. So, we'll put some tanks on there like that. Um, and since I'm going to be attaching landing gear to those tanks, and oops, picked up the wrong part. Let's go ahead and do some strutting at the moment. Yeah, we'll strut those things together like that. And we'll strut them to the central tank. Yeah, it looks kind of ugly. Let's get that more symmetrical, don't we? Closer. Yep, not quite as ugly. Can't have an ugly rover now, can we? <laughs> Still looking kind of tall. Okay, okay, and let me see, while I'm in here in this tab, let's go and get the fuel lines. Because these, you know, zoom in here real close. Because these are going to feed into the central tank. There we go. Yeah, that'll be lots and lots of fuel. How, how much does this weigh already? I've got this one nifty, very nifty mod, this Kerbal Engineer uh, guy, I don't know how to say it, was his name J. Jeholtkra? Jeholtkra? Great? I don't know. Anyway, um, and Evolution, those two guys. I'm going to stick this thing on here, only use it inside the vehicle assembly building, and it tells me that my whole part right now, this weighs 10.6 Kerbal mass units, and this engine with these parts on there, on the moon, it'll have a thrust weight ratio just nearly three, 2.89, just under three, which that's plenty. Plenty. More thrust and weight, that's all I need. We'll be able to get up and travel around. Uh, RCS, I need some RCS in this thing, don't I? Yeah. Here we go, put some 
RCS tanks on there. Um, I'm thinking I might be having to try and take off and fly at the RCS. I'm going to go with some of the stronger stuff here. Uh, how much stronger? Made for larger rockets, made for the largest of rockets. Mm. Yeah, we'll go with this one. We'll go with this one. Right here. Okay. Yep. That works. Now that'll RCS. And now what do I want? We want these decals. These are not decals, it's just a tab which isn't used for anything else at the moment, so we're gonna put some other stuff in here. Rototron from 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 Ramon and or and Danu Japan. Use these two guys. So I need something that'll rotate stuff. There we go. Here, oh, here, here we go, I said. Get in there. Bang! Yep. Okay. Bunch of rototrons on the bottom. I'm going to call this group Extend Legs. And I'm going to assign this. Let me see a couple of keys I'm not using for anything else. How about five and six? Okay. That's very nice. We'll put that out of the way now that that's set up. See, I was think I was thinking about this. What my what I want, what I want is is to have this whole thing just just for the sake of aesthetics. Even even though we don't have any actual aerodynamics happening in the game yet, uh, for the for sake of aesthetics and just to make it look kind of cool, I want the whole thing to fit inside yeah, uh, a payload fairing. So so see here we got it's three meters across, so we should fit inside this. Three meter payload fairing, right? Where'd the base for this thing go? Whoop. Yeah, kind of like. Yeah, see, that all fits in there. So I want my legs. Uh, it's it's going to extend some legs to give me a like a a wider wheelbase. Um, probably I guess I need a shorter one here. And the reason I put these rototrons in the bottom so I can attach the legs to them. Like, whoops, symmetry. Turn that symmetry on. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah, kind of pinwheel. I suppose you could say it looks kind of swastika-ish, but we'll just we'll just go for the more benign description and say that it looks pinwheel-ish. And then and then the the plan is that these will all ro rotate and they'll extend outward. See that'll fit inside a three meter fairing. I betcha. Yeah. Let's. It's. Oh my god. Things freaking out, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that'll fit. Look at that. Oops. We'll just we'll play with that more later. Uh sure it'll fit. Of course it will. <laughs> Look at the thing go! Ah, <laughs> uh, let's save that but before I let's call this moon rover. Before I forget to save things. Okay, where'd those wheels go? wheels. Here we go. Get four-way symmetry on. Put some wheels in the end of the thing like that. Very nice. You know what? Let Before we get too much further here, save that too. Let's test this thing out on the pad. Then we're over. Let's put that there. Oh, it's already moving. Hang on, stop moving. Stop, stop moving. Um, this, this button? Oh, does, maybe is my joystick not centered? Because it's probably obeying that. Oh, it does respond to the joystick. That's interesting. Okay, hang Oh, stop, 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 stop. Stop! Can we just stay? Saddle! Saddle! Wow. Okay, well, okay, I just learned that the wheels do respond to having the <laughs> the, the uh, translate controls um, mapped to something on your joystick. Who we got? Fredulous Kerman, Neomix, Verpim, and Razor Kerman. Razor, it's kind of a badass name, isn't it? 
we want to detect it still works. Okay, so let me see. What's five is to ex extend these legs. Let's see if I got that set up correctly. Whoops. Okay, how about six is extend the legs. Five is... Oh, wait a second. What is happening? I... Oh, I see. It's, it's we've got of the four wheels, and I hit five. Two of the legs try to extend, extend, but two of them, two others try to fold up, and six, the other two try to extend. Yeah, that's okay. So just doing the the raw symmetry on the rototron. You know what? We're getting real close to that edge here, guys. Go this way, huh? Oh no, that's the wrong way. No, no, no. Stop. 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 Do stop. Oh. Oh, oh, well, that's kind of an ugly mess. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Three kerb kerbals are just very mellow about it. Okay, okay, okay. I think I see what I need to do with the with the with the with the, the legs and the wheels and stuff. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and end that flight. Go back to the vehicle assembly building. Oh. Okay, pull this back out here. Um, actually, I guess yeah, it's not gonna yeah, it's not gonna work with these on here. Let's take these parts off. I can do those again later. See the rototron, these rotating parts. They've got this yellow reference mark. I was playing around with these earlier. Ah, uh, yeah. See what that they didn't really respond correctly with the um, the symmetry. I need them all facing the same direction here. Which one's this one? That's that one. Okay, we'll, we'll call that one the reference. We'll get the rest of these all pointing the same direction. Here we go. And there we go. Oops, go back one notch. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. Now let's go ahead and put our legs back on there. Okay, yeah, that's all looking pretty cool. Uh, let's try it out. Still got the same guys as before. Fredulous Neomix Razor. And then buggy, it's being more stable. Okay, here we go. Let's try and extend. Oh, no, that's no other button. Oh, it's still not doing the right thing. Look at that. Let me see. That part works nicely, though. There we go. Um, why is this not folding up correctly? Okay, so let's just think on this here. Now, uh, the one, so we're starting looking at the cockpit. This, this upper left one here. If I do six, extends this one, and also. Now six extends. Six extend. Oops. I was pressing six and it extended all but this one. That one is going the wrong direction. Let's fix that. Into flight. Vehicle assembly building. This one is going the wrong way. That's the one that I keyed that I said was the ref. For. I wonder if it has something to do with that part being the first rototron that I put on, that I attached, and the others mirrored to it. I wonder if that could have something to do with it. Let's try something. Let's take all four legs off.
Okay, attempt number... I don't know how many attempts this is in the moon rover. Launch. Yes, debris is already on the pad. I thought it... So I ended the flight. I do think that would ending the flight would clear that debris, but I guess it doesn't do it automatically. It's leaning. Why is it leaning? One of these legs must not be properly attached. It's leaning to the left. That's what happens when you don't have symmetry. Okay, let's do five. Aha! That's what I was looking for! Yeah, okay, that's what I wanted. Yeah, see, in six makes it goes and folds it back up again. Isn't that kind of nifty? If I want to park it, park. Just like that. Fold those both back up, extend the legs. Yeah, little moon buggy. Oh, it's nighttime out here. Maybe I need to put some lights in this thing. Okay, let's try, let's get my, let's see, we can go this direction, isn't that nice? Stop. And go the other way. Yeah, that works. That works, can we? It, oops, um, oh, I did, oh, the, watch the edge of the platform. No, that's not going to work. Can I get myself out of this? Yeah! Oh, that well, that's, that might get him off the platform. Ooh, okay, that was a bad idea. Bad, bad. Stop. Stop. Stop moving. Stop. Okay, good. Just, everybody just chill out. <laughs> yeah, we need a different way to test vehicles. Okay, and flight. <laughs> but okay, so the wheel, the legs are working correctly. This makes me happy. This makes me happy. Um, light. It was dark. We need some lights. Is it in here? Yeah, here's my big track floodlights. And let's go ahead and do the four-way symmetry again. Do want to try and put them down here? No, we want the lights up higher, don't we? Oh yeah, here we go. That'll work like that. I like it. It's kind of... It looks kind of... Uh, uh, da da Dalek, Dalekish, doesn't it? <laughs> Exterminate! <laughs> I like it. Yeah, let's save that moon rover. And try one more time. Let's just take a look at these, the lights. Which, which button was it for the lights? I almost, I forget. Was it L? Or is that something? No, it, was, it wasn't L. We changed that to something else, didn't we? I can't remember which, which button I keyed it to. Was it this one? No, no, it's not that one. Um, okay, a a brief intermission while I look this up. Brief intermission is over. I think it's supposed to be H. Yeah, there we go. We got some lights. Whee. Party. Stop. We're reaching the edge of the platform again. Stop that. End flight.